Summertime is here, and if you live in a large metropolitan area like me, you want to be where all the hot girls are. Where are all the hot girls? At luxury hotel pool parties. And I know what you're thinking. These pool parties are designed to be so expensive that only rich assholes and foreign tourists can afford to go to them. And unless you're a hot girl, you're stuck dipping your balls in a baby pool in your driveway. Well, that's not fair. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to gain entry to an exclusive hotel pool party and eat and drink all day for free. I'm Mike Capes, and I call this hack the Pool Hand Luke. <sighs> There's nothing better than a pool party. Besides the public library, it's the only place where you can get away with being half naked, drunk, and pee in public while smiling at a perfect stranger. But our options are limited here because most of us are too poor to own a pool, and the public pool looks like this. Mister, mister, can you help me? I'm the only one looking after my little sister. Oh, kid, I'm so sorry. I got a thing at a hotel pool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Daddy! All right, first things first, we need to sneak in. Now, most of these hotels require you to have a room key to even get near the pool. But you can't afford a room here. You had to have your shift covered at Daniel's just to have an open day for this hack. So how do we get a room key? It's simple. Go up to the reception desk, say something like this. Hi, how are you? You know what, I tossed, um, I tossed out my key. Um, but well, I, my son collects them. So I was wondering if I could get a, like a de deactivated key just to bring them home. Two different kinds? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Oh, he'll like that one. Now, I don't have a kid, but if I do, I hope he's not lame enough to collect these fucking things. And if you're under 15, guess what? You play the kid. But stop watching this video because you can't do any of the rest. All right, we're in. Did you guys notice anything there? No? Well, neither did security. Well, aside from the full grown man wearing child floaties, was I just being ironic to get attention from girls? They think so, but it's actually our second hack. Is there a clue? What's that, Blue? You think I can't swim? No. Did I sneak vodka into the party in my floaties? Yeah. Why, yes I did. Good job, Blue. Did you guys notice that at home? Well, Blue found it because Blue hates paying $15 for a watered down well drink. Now we need to get some free food and a good spot to sit down. If you didn't get to the pool early enough, you're gonna end up sitting so far from the action, you'll feel like an extra in a spring break booby movie. But if you wanna get the girl at the end, you have to be the star. So you just have to make friends. You could find people with common interests and gradually form a relationship built on trust, or just find the drunkest dude you can with food and prime real estate. Just stroll up and start high-fiving. Drunk dudes love high-fiving. What's going on, man? Up, How's it going? I'm Mike. I'm Mike. So how do you get free food from these guys? Well, you have to use your wits and a little human psychology to do it. First thing you can do is just be a great listener and make their stories seem amazing. Just make sure you laugh a lot. And give them bro hugs and fist bumps. While you're doing that, they won't notice that you're taking their fries from time to time. I know what you're thinking. This is small potatoes, but it's aggregate. It's only one fry at a time, but over time, it adds up to a lot. You guys are fucking awesome, you fucker! <laughs> Another thing you can do is play dumb. The old, what is that routine? What is that? Just look at their food as though you've never seen or heard of it before. Look confused, even pick one up and examine it. They're not gonna believe you've never tried something so common and let you have some. You could keep this bit going for all the plates they ordered. Okay, what is that? Hamburger. Do they make these everywhere? Is it ham? Hamburger? Hamburger. No, it's beef. I know what you're thinking. I could do the old choking technique to get a free beer here. But if the food is spicy, you can achieve the same effect with the hot mouth. If 
you're still hungry after this, just listen for the name on some rich asshole's tab. You know, someone who keeps ordering shit to impress everyone. Once you have the name, just order something from a waiter and put it on their tab. A steak sandwich and a steak sandwich. Put that on the Underhill tab. Oh, okay, okay. Now, you just enjoy the day. Now that you're way too drunk off of arm floaty booze to drive, you need a place to crash. Here's how you do that. You tell your new friends that you know some girls, but you have to charge your phone in their room to call them. Do I know any girls? No. I'm just gonna go to the room to lay down and pretend I'm passed out. Now, when a dude passes out, he's destined to wake up with a dick on his face. So, if anyone comes to check on you, this is where the drawing you did comes in handy. When they see you, they're gonna believe you passed out because no one in their right mind would draw a dick on their own face. Also, this will prevent further dick drawings because no one wants to be the sloppy seconds dick drawing guy. They're just gonna let you rest for the night. Well, there you have it. You just got a whole summer luxury pool party experience for free. Now you can spend your money on sex. All right, I gotta go wash this dick off my face now. But remember kids, don't be an asshole. Now this is for when you're at a super crowded place, like a Best Co or a Cost Buy, and there isn't a space in sight. We're gonna miss all the good free samples. Not anymore. If there are no spots, we make our own. So let's make an entrance and park front and center. Then, put a big red bow on the hood. I know, my bow looks terrible, but the YouTube tutorial I watched sucked a fat dick. What's up with those YouTube channels that don't actually teach you anything?